We had attempted to, um, so I'm going to put my hair up. We had attempted my baby dress. <laughs> they call them like little T-Rex arms. <laughs> you know how the T-Rex had the little arms with the big legs. <laughs> That's what she's trying to say. But we had attempted to reattach his dreads afterwards because he didn't really want to cut them off. Um, but he was trying to see, like, how is this? You know, they made a false eyewitness statement saying, oh yeah, that's the guy, black man with dreads. They didn't recognize Marcello. They actually rolled the darn elevator with Marcello. He went, Marcello went to the bathroom. I illustrated this too. They went to the bathroom, everything, because they didn't even know who Marcello was. But they claimed to be so deftly afraid of him um, that he was going to, that remember he supposedly, allegedly robbed them of that 80, I mean $60. And y'all know that because Marcello was arrested. They claim he took $80 from them. And then when they when Marcello was arrested and searched, the officers found Marcello to only have $60 on, them, on him. So the arresting officer, which later is found in cases to be dishonest and disharmonious in an over outing situation of a black man uh, in the same county. Once that officer gave the um, gave the affidavits back to them to refill them out and say Marcello had took 60. So you can see in the affidavit, the sworn affidavit, where it's crossed out. And one of the guys that crossed it out and amended it had put a little smiley face at the end. Now, really, that was the only thing that Marcello's um, defense lawyer, public defender, based his whole case on. He didn't base it on lack of evidence or anything. He based it on who would write a smiley face at after they were just in fear for their life. That's what he based it on. But that is amended, and it did come up in trial. Like, why? Like, we can't even charge Marcello with robbery, um, what the judge said, because the money don't line up. How in the heck? And then they said, well, he attempted to, you know, rob us. So, the actually, the judge threw that out. And the whole case of Marcello basically stood on that, on the basis of, you know, the robbery. You can't charge him with the slew of other charges they gave him if you don't have the robbery charge first. So they had to drop the robbery charge, which means they were going to have to let Marcello go. But the state went on to say, well, you know what? Marcello attempted. He tried to rob them. So the judge said, okay, yeah, he did try, even though the money didn't line up. And they asked, why, why would you write one thing if you mean another? And they said, we were just so shooken that we meant 60, but we wrote 80. Both of y'all, how both of y'all? Y'all share brains or something like that? Like, this is crazy. This was fabricated. And another instance of why there is reasonable doubt, you don't have that weapon, you don't have fingerprints, you don't have DNA, you don't have anything, but you are still making Marcello fit, like jamming the puzzle piece in. Marcello fits, like you have a, a, um, a puzzle and you got all these pieces and you think it goes there, but it doesn't. Once you put the picture together, you see that piece don't fit. Well, that's exactly how they did Marcello. They jammed. You gonna be the one. You you the one. <laughs>